Good everybody and welcome to TNH Learning. For today, we'll be learning about fraction part number three. Now on the board, we have a proper fraction, improper fraction and a mixed fraction. So what is a proper fraction? A proper fraction is when my numerator is smaller than my denominator. So when the numerator is smaller than the denominator. What is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is when my numerator is bigger than my denominator. Now in this way, we will get what we call a mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is when we have a whole plus a fraction. So it is a mixed fraction. So we can have a proper fraction and we can have a whole. So how do I find out what is a mixed fraction or where do I get a mixed fraction from? I usually get it from a improper fraction. Now in this example, we have 19 over 3, 19 thirds. So when I have 19 thirds, what do I do to get my mixed fraction? I need to make this a proper fraction because remember, we work with fractions, proper fractions. So when it's improper or mixed, we need to convert them so that they can be a proper fraction. So 19 over three, I'm gonna take my denominator and divide it into 19. So how many times can three go into 19? It can go in there six times. So six will be my whole number. So what is left? Six goes into 19, uh, excuse me, three goes into 19 six times. So if you count three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So we stopped at 18. We can't go further to get to 19. So I'm gonna take 18 and I'm gonna minus it from the 19. So what is left? A one. So I'm gonna write what's left. There's gonna be a one left. And remember, in fractions, we write our denominator. So we're gonna write the three. So the mixed fraction there will be six holes and a third. So 19 over three is also six plus a third. So how can I take this mixed fraction and put it back into an improper fraction. What you do is, you say three multiplied by six is equal to 18. You take 18, you plus it by your one, which is your numerator, it's equal to 19. And your denominator stays the same. In this way also, you can find out if you calculate it correctly. Right, I would like to thank you very much for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.